Hey guys, so I'm just leaving. Um, signed my work study contract, went to the mailroom, and they're obviously playing with my packages. Hey y'all, so as you should have seen earlier, I went today and signed my work study contract and went to the mailroom to check out my packages. I ordered three packages, they were supposed to be delivered on the 16th. My school's mailroom was closed because that was Martin Luther King Day. Okay, cool. So they re-delivered my packages yesterday. I have a problem with my school's mailroom because they are notorious for losing or just being hella late with my packages. I'll tell y'all a story about them. So, since freshman year, anytime I ordered a package, I'd have trouble with the mailroom. Like they'd say my box number wasn't on it and everything, so I'd make sure that my box number would be on all my packages from then on out. I'm talking about just hella package. I'd get my packages returned to sender. They'd come in looking beat up. So, sophomore year, before I even came to school, I ordered a pair of shoes from Charlotte Bruce. And this is like the beginning of August because I always come to school like the second week of August. I get to school and I'm checking like every day for this package. And online it's always saying delivered. But... It's the mailrooms always tell me your package isn't here, your package isn't here because they put slips in your mailbox. They don't email you a notification or anything. So you have to actually go to your physical mailbox and check to see if there's a slip in there. Even though you have a confirmation on your phone from the company saying that your package has been delivered. August goes by, they say my shoes aren't there. September goes by, my shoes still aren't here. October rolls by, my shoes are still not here. So, I file a complaint with Charlotte Roofs, and they're telling me I need to file a police order and everything because if I file my packages stolen, then they will send me another pair of shoes. So, that's what I'm gearing up to do, right? And then one day I go into the mailroom just to make sure, and I talk to the lady, and she's like, oh, she writes out all my information. I tell her, like, I'm filing for a stolen item because you, you guys are saying you never received the package. So I tell the lady that, and she's like, you know what, let me go in the back and check. So she's checking by order numbers and everything. And she tells me she's gonna call me when if she finds my package or if not. So no call, I come back a couple days later just to make sure before I go and full on file this police report. You know they found my shoes? They found my shoes and they were just sitting in the back with my box number on it and everything just sitting in the back of the mail room so yeah and that's not the only story let me go inside and I'll tell you another story about our school's mail room I try to avoid ordering stuff to my school's mail room because I've had so many issues like with forever 21 and my clothes getting to me super late not because Forever 21 sent them late but because my mail room just takes their time so later on that semester I needed to order a bunch of stuff from Walmart like a bunch of hair products toiletries things of that nature because I didn't have a car and Walmart is about 30 minutes away from my school so do to do, do order all my hair products this big breath box like hair products hair brushes and they're all supposed to a lot of stuff is going to come in walmart's like farm care or Farmex, whatever shipping make sure to put my box number on and everything so this time my package wasn't delayed but when i got my package it was so beat up like i'll see if i have pictures of how beat up my box was and at that point in time i was just like well everything's in there and i got it in a semi-decent time so i was like i'm not gonna complain but a few months later i ordered my first pair of roaches they're these so i get my roaches and it literally looks like someone punched through the box and the shoe box so like the packaging box and the shoe box trying to pull my sneakers out and i ordered these from finish line i believe so i'm looking at this box i'm like what freaking minute what happened so i take pictures of the box and everything 
and lo and behold i opened the box both of my shoes are in there but one is like looks like it's been trapped someone trying to pull it out so i contact finish line and i'm like hey this is what happened i send them the pictures of the box and they're like wow we're so apologetic and they gave me like a partial refund for my shoes so and because it worked because i had sent the pictures before I like I took the pictures before I actually even opened the box and I was just like I'm very disappointed in this service but and they they apologized because they're like we don't know if this was the issue that happened at our warehouse or at your postal services so we'll just give you a partial refund but I honestly now start I'm starting to think that this happened in my school's mailroom because who does that like I've never had these kind of issues with receiving mail like partially open mail or just destroyed boxes or just not getting my mail so that's why when i know a package is being delivered i try to be there like that day to pick it up but there's no slip sometimes i'll go and i'll just go in and the slip won't be in my mailbox and i'll be like hey i'm supposed to have a package and lo and behold they'll have the package and they'll print off my slips right there like the people in the actual mail room that i deal with are genuinely decent people like i've never had an issue with the actual people but they've returned so many of my packages to the sender like i ordered a nike hat on sale from i think maybe dicks or nike outlet or something online and it had all the right information on it and my school just overlooked i guess the box number and sent my hat back to the nike factory or the warehouse and what I called about it they're like oh the product has been returned to the warehouse we can give you a refund and I wanted that hat and I was like you know we can resend it or we can give you a refund and I'm like well if y'all resend it it might happen again so I just took the refund so I feel like my school's mailroom system hates me the people not so much but the system I think it hates me and I don't know why like, I will admit freshman year, there was a couple times I gave people my school address and forgot to give the box number. Okay, that's cool. But I'm a junior now. Like, I know better. I make sure my box number is on everything. I even put it in the comments. And I, the products I just recently ordered came with Amazon Prime. So, that's fast shipping. It's already been delivered. It, it says exactly who signed for the packages. So, I just need to know what's going on. Where are my packages? So if I don't get my packages by tomorrow, because tomorrow we have one class, so I will be in the mailroom after that one class, and I will wait in line, and I will speak to whoever I need to to get my package, because that will be three whole days. I don't got time for that. Remember how I was discussing that my school's mailroom is trash and doesn't mess with me? I went back once again to try and get my packages and they told me to come back before they close today. Why can't I have my stuff? Like, I just don't understand. Your sole purpose is to receive the mail, process it, put a slip in my mailbox. It's been two days. Things I will never understand. I just want my package. Tell me a king, what a life we chose, nothing but hoes. The good ones, few and far between. Getting hard to see them. Come on, Eileen, could you be my vaccine? I'm in need of your light. Could you